Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions on how to choose which uh, trig ratio to use to solve a triangle. Um, so what I want to do is just want to go over that process really quickly here. Um, first thing you have to do is understand um, that in order to solve for any equation that you can only have one unknown. So for instance, if I give uh, an equation such as this, x plus y is equal to 100, there's no way to know what x and y are, okay? Because x could be it could be 10 plus 90, right? It could be 90 plus 10, it could be 99 plus 1, or an infinite number of other things. Okay, the reason why is because there are too many degrees of freedom on this um, on this equation, meaning that there's too many things. The, the equation is not constrained enough. Okay, so what it means is that we can only solve equations for a variable if there's only one unknown in the equation. So for instance, if I said this was x plus 40 is equal to 100. Well now, I can solve this and I can say, well, x is equal to 100 minus 40, right? And that x would be equal to 60 and I would be able to solve it. And it would be the same for um, basically any other equation. So when I have one equation, I can only have one unknown. And when I have two equations, um, I can have two unknowns and three equations, I can have three unknowns. Um, and But basically I need one unknown, uh, I need one equation for each unknown in order, and it has to be a, a different equation. Okay, so using that, let's take a look at some of the triangles here. Okay, so if I have a triangle like this, okay, and let's say I am given uh, just two sides. So I'm told that this is 7 and this is 5. Okay, and I don't know anything else besides the fact that it's a right triangle. Okay, well, what's known and what's unknown? Okay, well, let's take a look at our options. We have the Pythagorean theory, uh, which is PT. Uh, I'll just abbreviate that, and that says that. Um, uh, let's say hypotenuse squared is equal to, um, well, let's say adjacent squared plus opposite squared, okay? Or it doesn't really matter, you could say c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. That's how it's normally um, normally shown, okay? Then we can go into um, the, co the three basic trig uh, relationships that we have. Okay, and so what I can show is I can say, well, we could use sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. I could use cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And I could use tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, so given these uh, equations, what I need to do is look at the knowns and unknowns that I'm given. So for this triangle, I have two sides, and we have to see, well, what can I use uh, to solve these equations? So um, let's say I'm talking about any particular angle, or um, in this case, I'd probably be looking for um, this side, so the hypotenuse. Okay, well, I'm given the hypotenuse. Okay, it doesn't matter which one's the adjacent or which one's the opposite in this case. Um, so I have I need the hypotenuse, this is the unknown, and I'm given this one and this one. So I can use this equation because it has only one unknown in it. Okay, and so from this I could use the, the Pythagorean theorem to solve this. I'm not going to solve this just in the interest of brevity, um, but um, that's how you would know you use this one to solve it. Okay, so let's take a look at another one quickly here. Okay, so let's take this case where I'm given this angle and let's say this is 50 degrees. Okay, well, what I have is I have an angle and I have its adjacent side. And again, let's say I want to find the hypotenuse. Okay, well, if this is the case, well, I have, I'm given uh, an angle, okay, theta, and the adjacent is 5, and I need the hypotenuse. Okay, well, which one of these equations can I use? Well, let's look at the Pythagorean theorem. I need, I I need the hypotenuse, so that works out well, but, and I have the adjacent, um, so, but I don't have the opposite, and I don't, so I don't have the hypotenuse, and I don't have the opposite, so I can't use that. Okay, you look at sine, I have theta, uh, I, d I need the hypotenuse, so I don't have this, and I don't have the uh, opposite either. So again, there's one unknown here, and another one unknown here. 
Okay, so let's go look at um, let's look at cosine. Okay, so cosine I have theta, I have the adjacent, and the only one I don't have is the hypotenuse. So in this case, what I would do is I would choose cosine. Okay, so in this one I would just say that I would rewrite this equation to say h is equal to um, the adjacent divided by cosine theta. Okay. Okay, I'll show you another quick one here. A couple more examples of how to do this. Okay, so let's say for instance I was given the opposite angle. Okay, so in this case let's say this was, I don't know, 30 degrees. Okay, so if this is 30 degrees, and so what I have is I have an angle and its opposite side. And we just basically go through this again, say, well, can I use this one? No. Okay, I need the hypotenuse. I've got angle, opposite, and hypotenuse. Well, I've got angle, opposite, and I need the hypotenuse. So this is, I would use sine theta to solve this, the sine theta relationship to solve this one. Okay, um, similarly, if I didn't have to find the hypotenuse, okay, and if I just want, I had to find the um, the adjacent side here. Okay, well then let's see what we could do. I've given, I have the angle, the opposite, and now I need the adjacent. Okay, so in this one I have, I don't know what the hypotenuse is, and I don't know what the adjacent is, so that's no good. Okay, in sine theta I have the angle but I don't have the opposite and I don't have the hypotenuse. So I only have one known here, so I can't use that either. Okay, cosine, um, I have the angle. I, I do not, I need the adjacent, so I don't have that and I don't have the hypotenuse. Okay, tangent, I have the angle, I have the opposite, so this is the one and I need to know this. Okay, so this only has one unknown, so I can use this one. Okay, so in this case, tangent is the one. Okay, so really what we're doing is we're looking at which one of the, um, we're going to list all of our knowns and our unknown, and look at which one of these relationships basically has everything except for the unknown. Okay, and that's how we decide which one of the ratios to use. So hopefully that helps clear things up a little bit. Um, if you, once again, if you have any questions, uh, please drop a line or uh, send me an email or put a comment in the comment bar. If you like the video, please click like, and if you like the channel, then please subscribe.